Hey everyone, this is Parko Sudhar and today we are going to learn what is a recurrence relation. So in this today's session we will discuss uh, what is a linear recurrence relation and what is a homogeneous solution or how to find a homogeneous solution. So first let us understand what is a recurrence relation. Uh, in many discrete computational problems it is easier to obtain the numeric function from the relation between its terms. So the recursive formula for defining the numerics function is called a recurrence relation. So consider a numeric function a equals to a0 a1 up to ar. So consider this a numeric function. Then recurrence relation on the numeric function a. It is a function that relates all the terms of a to previous terms of a. So it is also called a difference equation. So a recurrence relation is also called a difference equation. Now to define the numeric function completely using the recurrence relation, the values of the numeric function at one or more points are required to initiate the computation. So for computation, uh, two or three points values will be required. Now these values of the function are called initial conditions. So for example, now the recurrence relation for Fibonacci sequence of numbers and that is given by this AR AR equals to AR minus 2 plus AR minus 1 where R is less uh, greater than or equals to 2 with the initial condition A0 equals to 1 and A1 equals to 1. Now we all know that what is a Fibonacci sequence. So the Fibonacci sequence will be given by like this 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. How? See we have here the initial conditions are A0 equals to 1 and A1 equals to 1. So uh, if we put R equals to 2. So the equation will become a0 plus a1. So that is 1 plus 1. So 1, 1 and 2. As the initial conditions are all already there. So 1, 1, 2. Then again 1 plus 2 that is 3. Then again 3 plus 2 that is 5 and so on. This is how you can uh, construct a Fibonacci sequence. Now let us understand what is a linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients. So suppose r and k are non-negative integers and a linear recurrence relation of the form this c0 plus ar plus c1 ar minus 1 plus c2 ar minus 2 up to ck ar minus k and that is uh, let us take one function f of r where r is greater than or equals to k now where the c0 c1 up to ck are constants and they are called linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients of order k provided this c0 and ck that means the first term and last term has to be non-zero otherwise it won't work so for example the relation ar minus 2 ar minus 1 equals to 2r is a first order re linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients see how uh, here in this general equation ar minus k so r minus k that means so it is of order k so here we have r minus 1 so just compare it with r minus k so you will get k equals to 1 so hence it is a first order linear recurrence relation now in same manner let us take ar plus 2 ar minus 3 equals to r square now this is a third order linear recurrence relation why because we have here r minus 3 so it is a third order linear recurrence relation now uh, ar square plus ar minus 1 equals to 5 that is not a linear recurrence relation because in the general form we have only ar or ar minus 1 but here in the example we have ar square so that won't work so it is not a linear recurrence relation now let us understand what is a homogeneous solution so consider a kth order linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients so just consider this equation that we have discussed so c0 ar plus c1 ar minus 1 plus c2 ar minus 2 up to ck ar minus k equals to f of r and where r is greater than or equals to k just consider this equation number one now then the homogeneous recurrence relation of the above recurrence relation that is given by c0 ar plus c1 ar minus 1 up to ck ar minus k equals to 0 now what is the difference between this equation and the previous equation you can see that uh, there is only one difference that f of r equals to 0 so that means for any re linear recurrence relation if f of r equals to 0 that means the right hand side equals to 0 then the given equation is homogeneous linear recurrence relation so whenever right hand side equals to 0 then we can say that it is a homogeneous recurrence relation so and the solution of that equation is called homogeneous solution 
Now the characteristic equation of the first equation is the kth degree polynomial and that is given by like this c0 alpha raised to k because the order is k so we will start from alpha raised to k so c0 alpha raised to k plus c1 alpha raised to k minus 1 up to ck equals to 0 so this will be the characteristic equation now the polynomial in alpha is of degree k yes obviously so it has how many roots k roots and it is called the characteristic roots now let us understand the types of roots now let alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha k be the roots of the characteristic equation then there will be how many there will be total two possibilities so the first one there can be distinct roots or then can be uh, multiple same roots or two equal roots or it can be three or four and so on so for distinct roots the general form of the solution will be like this a r equals to a1 whatever the alpha we have found so alpha 1 raised to r plus a2 alpha 2 raised to r up to a k alpha k raised to r and for two equal roots we are just combining this two constants so that is a1 plus a2 r into alpha 1 raised to r plus the rest of the terms are same so a3 alpha 3 raised to r up to a k alpha k raised to r so let us take examples so the find the solution of a r plus 2 minus a r plus 1 minus 6 a r equals to 0 so first see the characteristic equation will be like this first just determine what is the order of the given recurrence relation and also you can see that here right hand side equals to 0 so that means it is a homogeneous uh, linear recurrence relation so the first characteristic equation will be like this as we have r plus 2 so the order will be 2 so we will start from alpha square minus alpha minus 6 equals to 0 now it is a quadratic equation so you can solve very easily so the factors will be alpha minus 3 into alpha plus 2 equals to 2 so what will be alpha so alpha will be either 3 or minus 2 now you can see that 3 and minus 2 they are the different roots and also they are the characteristic roots so the first case will be applied and what is the first case if we have distinct roots so the homogeneous solution for the recurrence relation will be this ar equals to see a1 alpha 1 raised to r plus a2 alpha 2 raised to r but see here you can take alpha 1 and alpha 2 any numbers so that means if we take alpha 1 equals to 3 or alpha 1 equals to minus 2 it won't change the answer so a r equals to a1 here we have taken uh, alpha 1 as 3 so a1 3 raised to r plus a2 minus 2 raised to r as we have only two roots so we will just stop here so a r will be this so this is the homogeneous solution now let us uh, discuss second example find the solution of this ar plus 2 plus 2 ar plus 1 minus 3 ar equals to 0 and that satisfies a0 equals to 1 a1 equals to 2 so here the additional uh, term or additional data is we have given some condition that is a0 is 1 and a1 equals to 2 now the first we will write what is a characteristic equation now here you can see that what is the order of the equation and also it is a homogeneous equation so the order here the order is 2 so the characteristic equation will be will start from alpha raised to 2 or alpha square so that is alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 3 equals to 0 now again it is a quadratic equation so we need to solve it so what are, what will be the roots of this equation so that is uh, the alpha plus 3 uh, dot alpha minus 1 equals to 0 so that means alpha will be this uh, minus 3 and 1 so which are the characteristic roots of the equation now as you can see they are the distinct roots so we'll uh, consider the first case so the homogeneous solution of the given recurrence relation it will be like this ar is a1 uh, alpha 1 raised to r plus a2 alpha 2 raised to r okay but here we are taking uh, alpha 1 as minus 3 and alpha 2 as 1 so er will be a1 minus 3 raised to r plus a2 1 raised to r where a1 and a2 are constants so this will be the homogeneous solution but see uh, here we have given uh, a0 equals to 1 and a1 equals to 2 so we will uh, use that condition and also we will find what is the value of a1 and a2 so now put r equals to 0 so what we will get so we will get a0 equals to a1 minus 3 raised to 0 plus a2 1 raised to 0 and that will give a0 equals to a1 plus a2 so also put r equals to 1 in that solution so we will get a1 equals to a1 minus 3 raised to 1 plus a2 1 raised to 1 so that will lead to a1 equals to minus 3 a1 plus a2 
Now, if you solve this equation uh, by using whatever uh, the method you know, so a1 will get minus 1 by 4 and a2 will get 5 by 4. So just substitute that values in the solution. So we'll get AR equals to here it was A1 minus 3 raised to R. So that means minus 1 by 4 into minus 3 raised to R plus 5 by 4 into 1. So that is the final answer. Let us discuss another example. Find the solution of AR plus 6 AR minus 1 plus 12 AR minus 2 plus 5 plus 8 AR minus 3 equals to 0. Now again here right hand side equals to 0 so it is a homogeneous equation now we will write what is the characteristic equation now see uh, what is the order of this equation here we have r minus 3 so that means the order will be 3 so let us start with alpha raised to 3 or alpha cube so alpha cube plus 6 alpha square plus 12 alpha plus 8 equals to 0 now it is a cubic equation so the factors will be like this alpha plus 2 cube equals to 0 so alpha will be minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 three times because we have cube so it is repeating three times so the homo homogeneous solution will be like this see uh, here we have uh, we have the root that is repeating three times so the solution will be a1 plus a2r plus a3 r square into alpha raised to r because all the alphas are same so minus 2 raised to r suppose it repeats four times so the solution will be a1 plus a2r plus a3r square plus additional a4r cube into whatever the alpha raised to r where this a1 a2 and a3 are constants so this will be the final solution in the case where the roots are repeating thank you